The monkey is probably one of the most complex creatures in the entire animal kingdom. Having an IQ of over 200 and being able to bench press 40 times their normal body weight. They've been in the circus, in movies, even in video games, probably which you have done none of. These beasts are truly a sight to behold, making them a subject of great interest. So today, I thought I'd unveil the monkey iceberg. If you don't know how iceberg videos work, the most common knowledge is at the top and the least known is at the bottom. And before I get comments saying that gorillas, orangutans, chimps, and baboons aren't monkeys, just... Just... get out. Leave. Okay, now that they're gone, let's begin. The infinite monkey theorem is a common idea that theorizes if a monkey was put in front of a typewriter and had an infinite amount of time, it would eventually hit the keys in an order to form comprehensible texts, such as the complete works of William Shakespeare. In 2002, an experiment was done at Plymouth University in the UK to see if this would work. The only thing that happened was the monkeys hit the typewriter with a rock and typed the letter S for five pages. But they weren't given an infinite amount of time, so the true results are unknown for now. Harambe is probably the most well-known gorilla to ever exist. If you don't know the story, on May 28th, 2016, a kid fell into his enclosure, so they sniped him with a 30 6 This caused insane internet controversy, and now his name lives in infamy to this day. Rest in peace. Donkey Kong is a well-known Nintendo character that has been in tons of Nintendo games and even had an animated show about him. But why is he called Donkey Kong? Shigeru Miyamoto chose the word donkey to convey stubborn in English, so technically, DK's canonical name is Stubborn Ape. If you haven't seen the Planet of the Apes franchise, it's about a monkey named Caesar who is four times smarter than the average California resident. Then, a bunch of stuff happens, monkeys fight, gorilla destroys a helicopter, gorilla dies, we all cry, monkey talks, and that's it. Up first in deeper waters, we have the proboscis monkey, who... <laughs> Coco the gorilla is a famous gorilla that learned to do sign language. Coco had a measured IQ of 70 to 90, comparable to a human baby, while not being mentally impaired. She learned sign language and was able to learn 2,000 words of English and sign 1,000 of them. Unfortunately, she died due to a heart condition in June 2018, at the age of 46. Her final words were supposedly fix earth, but the original video has been spliced so much it's hard to tell. Fun fact, did you know monkeys gave us HIV? Sometime during the 1920s, a monkey was killed and eaten by a hunter, and unbeknownst to the hunter, the primate carried SIV, or simian immunodeficiency virus, which then proceeded to jump species and started a chain reaction that would spread over to 75 million people and end up killing a million. Fun. A common misconception is that monkeys have quite recently entered the Stone Age. This isn't true because primates have been using stone tools since about 3,000 years ago. Some orangutans have even figured out how to pick the locks on their enclosure with sticks. Pretty cool. On December 9th, 2012, a picture from the user DZD underscore Liza surfaced on Instagram of a monkey in a fur winter jacket, with the caption, Anyone lose their monkey at Ikea? This image of the monkey quickly spread around the internet, and it was determined that the picture was taken at an Ikea in Toronto, Canada. The owner, Yasmin Nakura, had the Japanese makake Darwin taken from her due to Toronto's rule on prohibited animals. Darwin now lives in a primate sanctuary near Montreal to this day. So now, as we enter the depths, you'll probably begin to see some more... strange topics about monkeys. Ones that you probably don't know such as monkey hate. Monkey hate is a type of video on YouTube that depicts monkeys in questionable or dangerous situations, usually with the title being something along the lines of calling them rats. On one video titled Baboon Kill, it depicts what appears to be a baboon eating before a gunshot is heard and a man quietly says headshot. If this is real and not some prank, YouTube has seemingly ignored videos like these for years now, even when bigger YouTubers have brought the issue to light. 
Chimps will frequently eat monkeys in the wild, and in some extreme cases, chimps have been recorded eating their infants as well. Obviously, I can't show any images or video, because if I do, YouTube will hurt me in unspeakable ways. Monkey baiting was a blood sport back in the 1700s which involved having a dog fight a monkey for money. The most famous match was with an English fighting dog versus Jacko Macaco, a chimp who was given a stick to defend itself. The dog was wagered to win 10 to 1 against Jacko, but the British had no concept of how powerful the monkey was. Apparently, he jumped 3 feet into the air, landed on the dog's back, and proceeded to beat the dog to death with the stick he was given. But unfortunately, Jacko's killstreak of 14 dogs came to an end when he and his opponent died after a match from suffering too many injuries. So we all know that monkeys love bananas, right? But have you ever asked why they like bananas? Bananas contain a substance known as potassium that is slightly radioactive because it decays over time. Humans aren't affected by this because of how small the dosage is. But if you were to eat roughly 10 million bananas at once, you would die of radiation poisoning, which humans can't physically do. But on the other hand, monkeys can eat a lot more than humans can. One banana contains about 0.01 MREM, or Röntgen equivalent man. So if a monkey were to eat about 10 billion bananas at once, it would output the same radiation levels as Chernobyl did during its nuclear meltdown. So in reality, the true purpose of bananas is to be used so monkeys can turn into nuclear reactors. Alright, who wrote this script? Oh, it's me. Now finally, we reach the darkness of the abyss, where the most well-guarded monkey-related secrets and topics are kept. But I do have to warn you, by showing you this, you are now wanted in all of the following countries. So let's continue. The Gombe chimpanzee war took place in Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania from 1974 to 1978 between two communities of chimps. The conflict had started when the two tribes separated and took over different territories of the park. On January 7, 1974, six of the Kasakala males ambushed a lone Kahama male named Godi and killed him while he was eating. After they had killed the chimp, the males were recorded to have been waving branches around while screaming in victory. Soon, the tribe had killed four of the Kahama's members and only three males remained, Charlie, Sniff, and Willy Wally, who had polio. Charlie was killed by the chimps eventually, and Willy Wally disappeared and was never seen again. Sniff was able to escape for about a year before he too was killed by the tribe. After all the males were dead, one of the female chimps was killed, two went missing, and three were kidnapped. Overall, the Kahama had been wiped out and had suffered a loss of ten chimps in total. Eventually, the tensions between the Kamakala and other tribes had died down, and things went back to normal. The apparent cause of the conflict was a power dispute between three males and lack of suitable females. But who knows how many other times this has happened in the wild where it hasn't been documented. On the surface level, primates seem like these silly animals that simply eat, fight, and run around. They seem to live simple lives and do things that aren't very complex. But believe it or not, monkeys are smarter than humans. In some ways. I mean, monkeys don't have to work 9 to 5 jobs, they don't have political parties, and they don't pay taxes. I could be wrong since they have no access to modern medicine, most die before the age of 40, and they're constantly at risk of being killed by predators. But hey, at least they don't know what Twitter is. So finally we come to the idea of how humans are going backwards in evolution and how we're going to return to monkey someday. But I have a different idea. What if we aren't going backwards, but instead we're going in a circle? A circle that would allow us to go back to a simpler time, so that maybe one day we can finally return to monkey.